Thank you very much, everybody, for your patience. Uh, we're now going to resume proceedings, uh, and as you can tell, the sound system has been fixed. Uh, but if you don't mind, I'm going to ask our Time for Reflection leader, Dr Morrissey, to start from the beginning. Dr Morrissey from the Baha'i Faith. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thanks again for the opportunity to address you today. This weekend, several million Baha'is and countless more friends, neighbours, family and co-workers gathered in localities across the world to celebrate the bicentenary of the birth of Baha'u'llah, the founder of the Baha'i faith. The weekend's festivities involving people from diverse ethnic, social and religious backgrounds constituted a powerful demonstration of global solidarity in a world seemingly ever more divided. While joyful, reverent and uplifting, the celebrations provided rich opportunities for those present to reflect on Baha'u'llah's life, his teachings and their implications for today's society. Baha'u'llah was born in Iran in 1817. Though blessed with saintly character and uncommon wisdom, he was made to endure 40 years of suffering and exile. Yet Baha'u'llah's teachings speak to the nobility of the human spirit, the good in us all. The society he envisioned is founded on principles that will safeguard that virtue and integrity. At the heart of Baha'i teachings is the principle of the oneness of humankind. Baha'u'llah compared the world of humanity to the human body, an organism whose functioning is governed by cooperation and reciprocity. While once viewed with skepticism, this fact that humanity constitutes a single people and our world is essentially interconnected is now widely accepted. However, the oneness of humankind has far-reaching implications. It implies a transformation in the very relationships that bind society. It demands that all forms of prejudice be eliminated. Baha'u'llah tells us that prejudice in its various forms destroys the edifice of humanity, whereas the light of unity is so powerful that it can illuminate the whole earth. This oneness also demands an equitable distribution of resources and opportunities, including universal access to education. It calls for a set of economic relationships that allow wealth to serve the interests of the entire human family. And the oneness of humankind affirms the principle of unity in diversity. Fundamentally, the Baha'i writings see every person as a spiritual being with unique talents and capacities, as minds rich in gems of inestimable value. Everyone has a part to play in carrying forward an ever advancing civilization. As parliamentarians then, serving in a period of unprecedented global change, may your work reflect the principle of the oneness of humankind and all that it implies for a vibrant, unified Scotland playing its part in an interconnected world. <laughs> 